I'm Barbara Shipnuck, president of the National Council of Jewish Women of Greater Long Beach and West Orange County. What an amazing year it was. We have all been through so much. And as we look back on the close of three quarters of a century since our founding and prepare for the next 25 years, we must marvel at what we've accomplished. Pivoted to a virtual reality Zoom environment better understood by our kids and grandkids through the experts' guidance of our self-volunteered tech committee, Dale Strzok, Cynthia Gordon, and Deb Lelchek. They seamlessly added this to their defined roles with the assistance of our media consultant, Suravechi. But more about that at the end of my remarks. Some highlights of our year on Zoom. Advocacy sponsored a nationally recognized conversation between Eric Ward and Rabbi Peter Levy on racism and its roots in anti-Semitism. This drew viewers from across the country. We also held a moving tribute to honor the legacy of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We held a celebration of a fabulous family, the Mannheims, who shared stories of their three generations of fighting for issues that resound with our NCJW values. And we presented Sylvia Mannheim with the Hannah G. Solomon Award. Sharon Brannan engaged Bill Weinbanks as our book review speaker all the way from Florida. And she was a great hit with our members and others in the community. We also had some fun on Zoom playing bingo and spending a Saturday evening with Johnny the Magician. Advocacy sponsored over a half dozen programs on Zoom. They partnered with the League of Women Voters to discuss the ballot propositions in what seems like a long ago election. And they unveiled the homeless issues in our area. This latter through the efforts of Natalie Swift brought us into closer contact with the professionals who deal with this issue. Through the efforts of Deb Shankin, we expanded our reach to the Get Out the Vote. While we could not register on college campuses, we could write letters, postcards, and make phone calls. Over 50 members responded to Deb's call to action and wrote letters to encourage underrepresented voters in Georgia to go to the polls. And she also organized a phone tree to call each of our members to mobilize us to vote. We owe Deb a very big thank you for her efforts these past four years. We have expanded our footprint in the community through joining coalitions devoted to immigration and social justice, joining both the Orange County Jewish Coalition for Refugees and CLU, Clergy and Laity United for Economic Justice. Thank you, Deb Lelchek and Lisa Rothman for taking on these new assignments. In addition, over a dozen of our local rabbis and other clergy have joined the national effort of Rabbis for Repro. This is aimed at bringing understanding of the Jewish values around reproductive rights and, and women's rights to choose to, to the forefront of our discussion in that area. Our ties to the state advocacy efforts have also expanded with monthly meetings with the state policy advocates and joint planning. Our section was able to add a priority piece of legislation to the bills NCJW will focus on at the state level. This important effort is trying to keep the U University of California system from contracting for residencies with hospitals that do not allow the full range of reproductive health services. Our hardworking advocacy vice presidents put the finishing touches to our participation in the State Lobbying Day. And we were very proud and pleased with the number of you all who worked in that effort. Community service could have really suffered in this virtual world, but it didn't. Thanks to the efforts of Deb Kaplan Wyckoff, Linda Fox, and Bobby Horowitz. We were able to continue our good work in the community. We accomplished one hug packing before the pandemic really shut down and finished the year strong with a triple packing. 
We collected food for a college food drive and funded lunch for shut-in seniors. We gave $1,000 in supermarket gift cards to for the child, and most recently provided clothes, household gifts, and gift cards to assist three refugee families, thanks to the hard work of Naomi Steinfeld. Bobby and Kareen Hickey also led the effort to sew blankets for the homeless in the comfort of your own home. Over 70 blankets were created and donated to the efforts of St. Luke's Hospital, St. Luke's Church, apologies. Our program vice president, Sharon Brannon and Lisa Rauchman tried several new approaches to engage members. The movie evening they began will continue in an even more lively format. So please join us on the fourth Thursday evening each month if you can. Zoom proved a usable tool for them as well. Resource development led by Janice Simon and Deb Lewis ran an outstanding and lucrative high campaign, which exceeded its budget projection thanks both to their efforts and the generosity of you, our members. Michelle Stryker and Natalie Swift, membership VPs, developed a telephone tree to check on members and outreach to our new members. Yes, we gained 15 new members in this strangest of years. All of the things I mentioned you would be familiar with if you read Pillars, thank you, Ann Millman, or follow the weekly advocacy wrap up, thank you, Deb Lochek, and our e-blast, again, thank you, Dale Strott. But to be a successful organization, we have to pay attention to the less public aspect of how we do business. And this year saw the board hard at work on the less glamorous side of the ledger. Sherry Sobel agreed to chair a bylaws committee that spent many hours revising our bylaws and adding new provisions recommended by National. These were approved by the board and then by the membership. I want to recognize Linda Fox, Karen Freed, and Natalie Swift for assisting her. This indomitable team then went on to revise our policies and procedures. I am so very pleased that Sherry has agreed to stay on in her position and will be again joining us on the board. Our investment committee chaired by Judy Leff reviewed and updated our investment policy and recommended the board move our portfolio into a socially conscious set of investments. This easily passed. Judy will be stepping off as chair and Joanne Levy will assume that role as one of her co-treasurer duties. Dawn Haldane, who we could not function without, keeps all our finances straight. She has recommended a formal finance committee structure starting July 1. And Dawn will be chairing that committee. Please let me know if you are interested in joining either of the committees I have mentioned. While it may not seem like glamorous work, it is essential. And we would love to have any of you who are interested in financial matters or want to learn more, please get involved. In closing, I would like to thank Barbara Millman for continuing her duties as our corresponding secretary and keeping our tribute records, and Maria Osorio, our recording secretary. They are somewhat unsung heroes. I also want to extend my personal gratitude to Deborah Kaplan Wyckoff, Janice Simon, and Deb Lewis, who will be retiring from the board. And I want to welcome Bobby Horowitz, Tila Carroll, and Andrea Friedenthal. I thank all of you and look forward to an even more ambitious and rewarding year ahead. The board will be meeting in a few weeks to plan for next year, and we welcome your input. If you have any projects or events you want us to consider or recommendations for how we communicate with you, please email me and I will see that they are considered. And finally, I look forward to seeing you in person down the road.